How big are the extinct rhino, the Paraceratherium, and the extinct elephant, the Paleloxodon nematicus, compared to dinosaurs? Well, we will showcase the size differences of the biggest representatives of the different families of dinos compared to these gigantic mammals. So, if you want to know, let's get to it. Firstly, on the one corner we have the Paraceratherium. This is the biggest rhino and it is an extinct hornless rhino species that lived around 34 to 23 million years ago and it stood at a height of 4.8 meters or 16 feet tall at the shoulder and weighed probably between 15 to 17 tons. And then the biggest elephant, the Paleloxodon nematicus, is also the biggest land mammal ever. It was 5 meters or 16.5 feet tall and weighed around 20 to 22 tons. So here are the dinosaurs. From the family Hererosauridae, uh, these are one of the oldest families of dinosaurs and the biggest representative is the Hererosaurus, itself being 6 meters or 20 feet long, 1.5 meters or 5 feet tall and weighing around 350 kilograms or 770 pounds. Then from the family Dilophosauridae, the biggest from this uh, is the Draco Veneta and not the Dilophosaurus and it is believed to be 7 meters or 23 feet long, 1.8 meters or 6 feet tall and weighing 400 kilograms or 880 pounds. Now from the family Dromaeosauridae, or also known as the Raptors, the biggest from this family is the Utah Raptor which is 6 feet tall, 23 feet long and weight 500 kilograms or 1100 pounds. Next from the Ceratosaurus, uh, the Ceratosaurus denticulatus is the biggest species from this group at 7 meters or 23 feet long, 2 meters or 6.6 .6 feet tall and weighing a bit under 1 ton. Then from the Stegosaurids, the Stegosaurus is the namesake of the family of this type of dinos and it is the biggest as well. It was 4 meters or 13.3 feet tall at the tips of the back plates, 7 meters or 23 feet long and weighed around 2 to 3 tons. Next from the family Plateosauridae, uh, these are prosauropod dinosaurs which were early ancestors of the biggest sauropods. And the biggest from this family is the Plateosaurus and it is estimated to be 10 meters or 33 feet long at a height of 3 meters or 10 feet and weighing around 2 to 3 tons. So from the family Abelisauridae, the Ecrisinotosaurus and not the Carnotaurus is the biggest Abelisaurid. It is thought to be 10 to 11 meters or 33 to 36 feet long, 3.1 meters or 10.3 feet tall and weighing 2 to 4 tons. From the Carcharodontosaurids, the Carcharodontosaurus, the namesake of its family of dinosaurs, was the biggest standing at 3.7 meters or 12 feet tall, 12 meters or 40 feet long and weighing around 4 tons. Then from the older family of dinosaurs, the Allosauridae, from this group, the biggest is the Saurophaganax and this is no doubt one of the largest meat eaters from the Jurassic period. It is between 11 to 12 meters or 36 to 40 feet long, 12 feet tall and weighing around 4 tons. Next from this weird family called the Deinocheridae, the only discovered species of this family is the Deinocheris and it was a beast at 12 meters or 40 feet long, 3.5 meters or 12 feet tall and weighing around 6 tons. Then from the family Therizinosauridae, the namesake of this family, the Therizinosaurus, also holds the title of the biggest from its group. The Therizinosaurus was around 4 to 5 meters tall or 13 to 16 feet with a head that can reach up to 6 meters into the sky or 20 feet. Its length is 9 to 10 meters or 30 to 33 feet and it weighed over 5 tons. Then from the family Ankylosauridae, although short and not as long, the Ankylosaurus makes up for in weight and armor. This dinosaur was 6 to 8 meters or 20 to 27 feet long, short at around 2.1 meters or 7 feet tall, but weighed around 5 to 8 tons. Okay, so now we're getting bigger and bigger. So from the family Tyrannosaurids, the T-Rex obviously is the biggest and the baddest of the Tyrannosaurids and was pretty massive at 4 meters or 13 feet tall, 13 meters or 43 feet long and weighing between 5 to 8 tons. Then from the Ceratopsians, the biggest from this family is the Eo Triceratops. It was 3.3 meters or 11 feet tall, 9 meters or 30 feet long and weighed around 10 tons. It was massive, bigger than the T-Rex in weight and a bit bigger than the famed Triceratops. 
Then from the family Spinosauridae, the deadly semi-aquatic Spinosaurus aegypticus is believed to be the biggest terrestrial predator at 15 meters or 50 feet long, 3 to 4 meters or 10 to 13 feet tall, depending on the posture, as it kind of differs from year to year. But anyway, it weighed around 12 tons. So now we come to something that is as big or at least somewhere in that range, the Hadrosaurids. The biggest from the Hadrosaurs is the Shan Tungosaurus, which stood at a height of 4.5 meters to 5 meters or 15 to 16 feet tall, with a length of more than 15 meters or 50 feet and weighing 16 tons, around the same size as the Paraceratherium. Now we've reached the benchmark of sizes, the sauropods, and from the family Diplodocidae, these are very slender yet very big sauropods, and the biggest of them all is the Suposaurus, with lengths exceeding 35 meters or 115 feet, a height of 13 meters or 43 feet, with a weight of over 40 tons. Then from another sauropod family, the Mamenchisauridae, another sauropod which is kind of like the biggest in its family, it's the Mamenchisaurus, and it was estimated to be 25 meters or 85 feet long, 10 meters or 33 feet tall, and weighing more than 40 to 50 tons. Now we're going super gigantic. So the Brachiosaurus, one of the biggest of the dinosaurs on land, and the biggest representative is the Brachiosaurus itself, and it has been estimated to be 20 to 22 meters or 66 to 72 feet long, shorter than the ones before, 9 meters or 30 feet tall, lesser in height than the ones before, but had a bigger weight, at around 50 to 60 tons. Next, the biggest, from the Titanosaur family. From this group of sauropods, the biggest is the Argentinosaurus, and it has been estimated to be 35 meters or 115 feet long, 14 meters or 47 feet tall, and weighing 60 to 65 tons. And that, my friend, is the biggest land dinosaur. So, I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Anyway, with that, we come to the end of it, so do hit that like button for support, subscribe as well, but most of all, smash that bell icon for regular updates on new videos on this channel. Take care, guys.